Hey, hey there, Hound Doom fans. You're my Hound Hours, and I'm your Hound Doom. And today was the 100 mile yard sale. Now, this happens once every year during the summertime, at the beginning of the summer, um, where uh, there's a yard sale, well, multiple yard sales, and they just stretch on and on and on for 100 miles, give or take. It's just what it's called. It's also called um, the 301. I think, yeah, I think that's the other name for it, the 301. Anywho, so today was disappointing. I was expecting to get some interesting finds involving Pokemon. Maybe Star Trek. Maybe something like that of the sort, but guess what? I barely got to look at anything. You see, uh, we were really rushed, and I barely got to look at anything, and because of that, I am disappointed, let me tell you. Anyway, but despite my disappointment, I did manage to get a few finds that, you know, I like, you know, so I'm, I'm happy I got at least something. It's definitely not like what I expected, and it, it is disappointing to me, but I got something at all, so I'm very grateful, very thankful that I got something at all. Plus, I mean, you know, I don't really need that much, do I? I mean, I, I got a clean clean out the um everything anyway working on uh house cleaning and such and getting rid of a lot of stuff so you know whatever anyway i'm gonna show you what i got today and it's not a big haul i'll admit but uh, yeah i mean it's nice it's nice so item number one i got this bracelet uh these bracelets are really popular but this is my first one of this kind of bracelet and it is black and red. Notice anything? Houndoom colors! Ah! Because, you know, I am a Houndoom. So, you know, huh? Uh, anything Houndoom themed, red and black, anything looking dark, anything like this that looks like it can be Houndoom themed, I love getting, you know, because, yeah, I mean, I am a Houndoom, so why not? So, I got this really cool thing. It's also the color of another one of my favorite Pokemon, which is Incineroar. So, yeah. I got that, and I got it for uh, 25 cents, actually, so I'm very happy, you know, very happy indeed, 25 cents. Um, next up, sorry, it's all in this teeny tiny bag. I got this thing, it's a spinning top, it's, I don't think it's called a whirly gig, no, it's a spinning top, and I absolutely love it because ever since I was little, I remember being a little kid and wanting a spinning top like this from the store, which was Cracker Barrel, of course. Uh, Cracker Barrel always had them. But I could never get them because they were always so expensive at Cracker Barrel, like 12 bucks or something. And I never had that money as a kid. So I finally got one today at a yard sale. It was cheap. Some kid was selling it and it does work. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I want it. It's cute. It has little ducks on it. And I'm going to be a child today. So, ha! Screw it. So, uh, I didn't really care. So, today I um, got this. It's got little ducks on it, as you can see. And it does spin. Let me show you how it works. You pump it. And then you let it go. And when you spin it, it makes a little bit of a train whistle noise. Yeah, it makes a train whistle noise. So. so yeah, I think this is really cool and I got one that I've always wanted since childhood, you know? So I'm happy I got it and it was 50 cents. So no regrets. Uh from the same 10-year-old kid that I'd gotten that from. I also got these bad boys. <laughs> Dang, I think I forgot one. Okay, I got one left in the other room that I forgot to get, so I'll just show you these. Oh, no, there it is. I got three baseballs, and yes, they're old, they're dirt covered, they look like they've been played with well, so I know I'm not going to mess them up, you know? Um, I do have a softball that I have, you know? But I really do prefer, my hands are smaller, so I do prefer baseballs because a softball to a normal person is like a baseball to me. I am small. I have little tiny baby hands. It doesn't look like it on camera, but honestly, if you put your pinky finger out, I can wrap and there's still pinky sticking out. Like, I have baby hands. So, I think they're cute. Whatever. I don't care. It's not like I need them for anything important. So, I got three of them, three baseballs. I actually got four because it was um, four for a dollar. And so, I got them, bought everyone a kid had. 
but we had my little cousin Emma with me today so I gave her one of them because she wanted them and I didn't mind because you know I got three I actually do have another baseball um, that I just have but it's autographed by the mascot of my favorite team um, which is the Carolina Mudcats so you know whatevs so next up I have what do we have here oh yeah I have this and I got this for my David that's my mom's husband because tomorrow is Father's Day and it's the very first Father's Day I'm ever gonna spend with anyone so I want to make it special of course when you have like almost no money whatsoever it can be difficult well the thing is he won't go to church because he's too busy with football and he has no interest in the Bible because it's not football. And he really loves football. So look, Guts, Grace, and Glory. A football devotional. If there's any way that's going to get him, it'll be this. Because my mother believes that, you know, just like it says in the Bible, you need to be equally yoked. And we're really trying to get him to go to church. We're not going to make him become a preacher or anything like that. you got to be called into that anyway. You can't just magically become that because you want to. But, um... Um, you know, this, he needs to get into, it. it's an important thing in the family unit, and the father is supposed to be the godly example of the household. No matter how godly the wife is, the husband is supposed to be the cornerstone, the brick wall that keeps it all together, and that's the a biblical and godly example of what a good godly man and a, and a father, like God the Father, is supposed to be. And so, you know, it's just a very important thing deep in my heart. It's always been. And it's important to my mother as well. You know, she's married to him. So I'm pretty sure he's going to like this anyway because he knows how important this stuff is to me. So he knows the love that I'm putting into it. A football devotional. I'm pretty sure he'll have, you know, something to do with it because it's football related. Hang on, my phone's got a notification. I got to turn off. Beep, beep. Because I'm not going to edit it. So next up. I got nail polish because I actually cut my claws except for this one it's a sad dick this one's gonna go soon but um actually I didn't cut them but at a nail salon though they made my nail my claws look fabulous they didn't put layers on I always have to coat in many layers to keep them intact you know it'll keep them hard and it'll keep them from breaking but no, within, um, after two weeks maybe, two of my claws had broken. Another one had broken after that. Then one got, two of them got snagged and ripped off. So I just took the other ones off and I'm going to take the last one, which I'm so proud of it and it's leaving. But, you know, I'm taking them off and I'm actually going to regrow my claws. But, you know, they're going to regrow evenly. I'm going to shape them better and sharper this time. So I can rip skin off I already ripped skin off my friend with these nails you know little bitty ones so I was stressed what stressed what can I say so look I got silver because it's a claw color and I really wanted silver and um, my cousin Emma who got it for me because I was at the car doing something she said that it was um a dollar and she was fine with paying so that was really sweet of her actually Next, I got this, like, a Mexican statue, I guess. I don't know. It's just for decoration. I thought it was cool. It's a wolf, and it's howling, and I liked it, and I thought it was cool, and Emma got it for me because I actually had lost my money. I had, I was given, like, five bucks, lost my five bucks, so that was a quarter. Yeah, was it, or was it 50 cents? It was something like that. This was a quarter. This was a quarter. It's... Yeah, a little dog, a little welcome sign. I thought it was cute, you know. I can put it in my room, I guess. So, Emma got two of these that looked like her dogs. And they had none that looked like my precious baby. So, I I just got the cutest one they had. Um, next up, I collect these little weird mask things. I don't know if you know that, but I collect them. And this might be off-brand, I think. I don't think it's the exact brand because the material feels weird it feels different and the string in the back is 
a different thing, not what they usually have. So I'm pretty sure this is off brand. Either that or the smaller ones just look really weird um, and feel weird too. But it's a mask. I collect these little masks, you know. So I didn't have this one. Either way, I thought it was cool looking, so I got it. Um, next. Ugh. I got glitter. Emma got it for me because I am an artiste. I use glitter a lot. Um, semi a lot. This is a fine grain salty looking glitter and I think it's black. I'm pretty sure it's black or a dark blue, but I'm pretty sure it's black. And this is separated little specks, little octagonular kind of shapes. And it's a half and half thing with different dividing areas. See? So it's different. Anyway, um, I'm I'm very happy that I got that she got this for me. I really like it. I really do. And when the glitter runs out, it gives me a great, really cute, really helpful little container, um, shaker container. Cause normally I don't get shakers. I have to get it out myself and get it everywhere. So, um, next up, uh, I got this. It's a gator knife. It's a, it's a really little gator knife too, by the way. But um, yeah. Let me show you the good side here. It's a gator knife. It's a really small one, as you can tell. But um, I mean, it's nice. It's uh, the brand is um, Frost Cutlery. Uh, the stand, I, I um, told Emma that if she found any pocket knives to tell me, because I could always use a new pocket knife if I could find a good price for them. And we did find some really nice knives, a really cool lightning knife I wanted, but um, I didn't get it. They had a lot of Tac Force knives, which is my favorite brand, by the way, my favorite brand of knife. But this is not Tac Force, it's Frost Cutlery. And, you know, it's just a little bitty knife. There's no clip on it because it's really small. You could just slip. See, look how small it is. You could just slip it in a pocket really easily. Come out and shank someone if they try to get to you. You know, just slice them right here. Or it's always a good decision to... But <laughs> that was so unbelievably creepy. Holy crap. I'm, I apologize. At least one of you out there is just like. <laughs> one of you out there. Oh my gosh. One of you out there that watches my videos. You're probably getting like war flashbacks of like the time with my claws and like your throat and then. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. You're probably getting war flashbacks. I'm sorry. You're probably getting new images. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to do the things I do. But, um, hang on. I can probably find the knife. I mean, the knife box. Yeah, it's just a little bitty box. I got it new in package. It was a dollar. It was a do I don't know how much the glitter was, by the way. Probably a dollar. But this was just a dollar. So we got it gator knife if you ever wonder why it's called gator look at it the eye the ridges snout teeth gator peeking up gator bite that's gator knife it's a little gator knife but i wanted something with more of a jagged blade i needed something with with teeth you know uh straight blades are cool but i prefer things with teeth so i really like this <sighs> I love knives, but, um, so I got this, this will be helpful, you know, if I don't have my dragon strike, then I can always have that. Um, and next up, uh, I got something very childish, which, guess what, I don't give a crap, I don't care, because I realized something in my life, I am a lady child, I am the female equivalent of a man child. And sometimes I embrace it and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I feel bad about it. Most of the time I don't. So, I decided not to feel bad today because usually, usually, let me tell you something. Usually, 
when I'm at yard sales, I tend to skip out on getting things I would normally get because I don't want to be judged by my family. Because I don't give a dang what, ram what um, random people think of me. But my family, I, I mean, I care about them. You know, I don't want them to think I'm something weird, creepy. And more importantly, I don't want them to think I'm into anything, if you know what I mean. Because I'm not. I'm like, no, 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 it's totally not like that. It's just a weird personality trait of mine. It's just weird little hobbies of mine. It's just an accessory. It's just a personal style. It's just a choice. It has nothing to do with anything of that nature, you know? Of course, you know, I try explaining that to people. They won't understand. But, um, dang, my fat legs are, like, all up in the screen. Chub, 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 chub. Chub, chub. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I'm hyper. I'm very hyper. Any hoozles. So, try explaining that to someone. They're not going to get it, you know? So, um, so I usually avoid things. However, Emma. When Emma's around, she gets things like, you know, whatever thing. It doesn't matter how childish or not. She'll get it if she wants it. It's that simple. If she wants something, she'll get it. And she just plain doesn't care. And she encourages me to get what I want. Um, like, I'll be like, I want that. But, I mean, uh, someone will take it weird. So I just, And she's just like, so get it. You should get it. You know what? We're getting it. Come on. Then she'll drag me up there and help me get it. And I really appreciate that. So I did get something overly childish today that I wanted. I wanted something dinosaur related. It's been a long, long time since I got anything dinosaur related. Because for some reason all these horrible people in the world decide to make dinosaur things so expensive. And I hate it. But I finally got something dinosaur related um, after forever and a dang day. So I'm very happy about it. Um, Emma helped me get it. It was five dollars. We each paid two fifty to get it, and I am so grateful. I'm so happy. It's really cute and it's really childish because I'm a man child and I don't care. I'm a lady child. So we got this, and it is um. Hang on. So I got this. It's a Dino Roar by Fisher Price. It's from 1993. Yes, 1993. Giant Dino Roar. Apparently they have miniature versions too that come in like little eggs, I think. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure they come in little toy plastic eggs. But these Dino Roar. So, it's a giant Dino, dino Roar. It's surface wash only. It says, Our dino roars have become giants. These fun-loving creatures have soft, squishy bodies which gently roar when you give them a giant hug. There are three bright, colorful, prehistoric giant dino roars to choose from. Giant TC the Triceratops, Giant Bruce the Brontosaurus, and Giant Rex the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is Rex, of course. Um, it says, Look for the complete selection of dino roars, including all five dino roars. And three all new baby dino roars. So apparently there's five dino roars. There's baby dino roars. And these are three of, this is one of three giant dino roars. So let me just see the box. See that? In case you want to see the bottom of the box. Like that. So yeah, you might be wondering what all the hubbub is about and what it does. Watch this. amused by this it's absolutely horrible anyway and yep it says it's surface washable only so it's a dino roar yeah because yeah you get it any hoozles so 
Have a lovely, fantastico day. Make sure you comment what you want to see in the description below. Or, no, that's wrong. Doggone it, Houndoom, you're a retard. Make sure you comment in the comment section. There we go. Below what you want to see, what you think, anything you want. Share your weirdness. Make sure you hit that little old like button to let me know I'm doing something right. If you like what you see, you like sound booms? Hit that little old like. Like for dinosaurs, baseball, and all kinds of other cool stuff. Next up, subscrizzle for more Houndoom Hilarita. So, if you want that Houndoom Hilarita, make sure you subscrizzle, hitting that subscrizzle button. Okay? Thanks you all so much for watching my video. And, um, live long and prosper. Bye!